Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maca here. Welcome to my 100% achievement slash trophy walkthrough for Gang Beasts, recently available on Xbox One, offering 1000 gamer score, and being available on PlayStation for over a year now, but not offering a platinum trophy. This game is coming in at $20, but is on sale during the week of its release, and the game will take you roughly 1-2 to two hours to complete, with a difficulty of approximately 4 out of 10, in my opinion. One of the achievements will also require us to have an extra controller, and there's a couple of other achievements that may be easier with another controller, or even an online co-op partner. Now from the main menu, we can grab our first achievement or trophy by going down to costumes, selecting a random costume, and then applying it. Feel free to delete it after you are done, and then we can go straight into the level-specific achievements or trophies. The way all the level specific achievements work is that from the main menu you'll want to select local, for the game mode you'll want to select melee, for wins we'll put it up to 8 just in case we screw up and we can just kind of keep trying and trying and then we'll go alphabetically through all of the stages that give us achievements or trophies so we'll start off with the level buoy. These settings will allow us to basically play on the map by ourselves and you'll also want to get a little bit accustomed to the controls. The controls are pretty simple, but they are kind of meant to be a little bit finicky on purpose in order to make the game more fun. You'll walk around with the left stick and you can jump with A. You can grab with your left hand using LB or grab with your right hand using RB. Clicking the left bumper will punch, we won't be punching, and then clicking the right bumper will also punch, but we won't be punching either. And then what we can do is hold A while grabbing to pull ourselves up. So the first thing we'll do on this map is jump into the water and then use left and right bumper to grab on to the ice and then jump using A to pull yourself back onto the ice. This should unlock your first achievement or trophy. You might want to take a little bit of time in order to get used to the controls on this level as more or less we'll be doing this for the better part of the next hour or so and the more practice you get with the controls the easier some of these things will be. Additionally, on the buoy level, we can get an achievement or trophy for climbing to the top of the buoy. Uh, with a lot of practice, this is super easy, but if you're kind of learning the controls, you might struggle like I did quite a bit in the gameplay here. Essentially, what you want to do is jump onto the buoy and then jump and grab on with one hand using the bumper. Once you're grabbed on with one hand, you want to hold A to pull yourself up and then grab on with the other hand. Then let go of the bottom hand, hold A to bring your next hand up, and basically you climb and climb and climb until you get to the top with both your hands. Once you get to the top with both of your hands, what you want to do is just click the jump button in order to kind of leap over the edge and land on top. You can see I got really close here in the beginning and then I kind of fell down to the bottom. It's okay, you have lots of time here and if you do fail and you know get into the water and fall off the map, that's completely fine, you end up just having to reclimb and uh, yeah, just get to the top in order to unlock this achievement or trophy. Once we have both of those out of the way, go back to the main menu, now start a game on the stage containers, and container has containers has two achievements or trophies we can grab. The first one is for getting inside of one of the two containers. Your spawn will be random, it doesn't matter which container you get into but you'll probably have to kind of grab onto the edge and then swing yourself in. And once you get inside, the achievement or trophy should pretty easily unlock. You can then leap into the water to start a new fresh round. And the next achievement or trophy here is actually quite difficult. It's awarded for dropping the container without falling. So what we'll do is we'll go to a corner here and we'll press B to headbutt one of the beams here. And then we will jump up on the beam that is diagonally across from the one we destroyed. And we want to pull ourselves up and attach ourselves to the yellow part of the kind of container here that's holding on to it. As you're hanging, you should be able to tap X, which will allow your character to kick at the beam. As he's kicking the beam, it should slowly start breaking it. And as the beam breaks, the container might fall. Now if it doesn't, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll drop down and then do the exact same thing on a third beam. So now that we have these kind of two diagonal ones completely shattered, I'm going to jump up on another beam and hang on to the yellow part. 
So again, we're going to be using that bumper, holding A to pull ourselves up, grabbing on with our other hand with the other bumper, and then pulling ourselves up to grab onto the yellow part. And then again, I'm going to just tap X until it shatters the beam again, making sure my kicks kind of connect with the beam. It can be kind of hard to tell if they're connecting or not, but you should be connecting as long as you're close. And then once another beam shatters, the container should fall. And as long as you're still hanging on to the yellow part, after the container falls, your achievement or trophy will unlock. The one thing to kind of keep in mind here is that you do have a little bit of stamina. So you have to make sure to be kind of quick. If you're hanging on for too long, make sure you drop down to safety and then, you know, uh, just jump back up and make sure you don't lose your stamina kind of as, you're, as the container is about to fall. For whatever reason, that one beam didn't want to break, so I decided to go for the other one. And then I kicked that one and my kick seemed to kind of be connecting more often. So you'll see the container fall now and then I'm still hanging on. Achievement or trophy unlocked. The next level with an achievement or trophy in alphabetical order is elevators. What we'll do here is once you spawn in, jump up and then grab on to the little um, overhead opening and per pull yourself up through the opening to get on top of the elevator. You'll notice that the elevator is held by these kind of two beams. Go over to one beam and headbutt it until it breaks completely. And then what we'll need to do, similar to the last achievement, is kind of grab onto the other beam and then kick it in order to be hanging on when it breaks. Uh, I would say headbutting it one or two times before jumping up onto it will kind of weaken it a little bit in order to make it break a little more quickly. It can take quite a few kicks to get one of these beams to break. So you'll see here that I'm kind of jumping and trying to grab on and climb the beam a little bit so that I'm a little bit airborne. Once I'm a little bit airborne, I start going with those kicks and uh, break the beam. The elevator will fall, and as long as you stay with the elevator uh, shafts, like as long as you don't fall with the elevator, you will get the achievement or trophy. Because of the stamina, I end up falling right after I break the beams, but still unlock the achievement or trophy. The next level we can grab an achievement or trophy on is called Girders. And this one is super easy. As soon as you spawn, all you want to do is jump into the orange uh, kind of garbage chute. And then once you fall off the map, uh, you know, boom, achievement slash trophy. Next up, we have the level Gondola. And for this one, what we need to do is as you spawn, you'll notice that you're on a little bit of a gondola and it's being held up by four beams. We need to break all four of these beams while still hanging on to the top part in order for the lift to fall, but for us not to fall. So what I would do is I would start by headbutting the two beams that are kind of closest to the camera. And then what you need to do is hang on to the tallest part after it falls and try to headbutt the beam in order to cause the third one to crash. And then once three of them crash, you'll see that the kind of uh, uh, lift here shifts. And what we need to do is climb up to the top in order to get to the top part and then kick the last beam so that it falls from underneath us instead of, you know, if you headbutt, it ends up breaking above your hands. So you fall down with the lift. What we need to do is make sure to kick it beneath us so that we're still hanging on to the part that's above us. Now, the hardest part about this one is that you have your stamina. So if you run out of stamina, you might fall. As you kind of see me struggling on screen, I did have to kind of catch my fall and reclimb my way up. That's going to be the hardest part. If you are struggling with this quite a bit, I would probably recommend that you do some of the next achievements or trophies first and then come back to this one. As this is one of the harder ones, you'll get a lot of practice with some of the other levels and you can come back to this one and you might find it easier. But as you can see, now I have my last little beam here. I'm holding on to the yellow part on the top as I kick it and uh, eventually my stamina gives out. But because I did it properly, it did unlock as it was supposed to. Next up, we are on the level grind. And for this one, we have to escape the grinder hazard. So to do that, you'll just jump into one of these grinders Feet first, don't go arms first, because with your feet you can jump out. So you kind of have to get caught in it just a little bit, and then you just tap A to jump out. 
and once you save yourself make sure you jump over the railing back into the middle section of the map or else the achievement or trophy won't unlock until you're like fully safe so you kind of have to get caught a little bit and then jump out this one is a little bit finicky in terms of its unlock criteria just keep trying we are now on the level uh incinerator and we can grab the roast beef achievement slash trophy for escaping the incinerator hazard what I would recommend doing for this one is pulling the railings off of this section. This is not necessary, but will help just in case. This allows us, basically what we need to do for this one is to almost get caught by the fire, but escape. So what I recommend is going on to this kind of conveyor belt, jumping onto the edge, and basically you have to have like the majority of your body in the fire. I would probably recommend kind of hanging with one arm into the fire and then what you can do is pull yourself up out of the fire and you have to pull yourself all the way to safety in order for the achievement or trophy to unlock which is why i would recommend getting rid of those railings so you can jump up more easily this one is another one that's a little bit finicky sometimes it'll unlock perfectly fine and sometimes you really have to dunk yourself deep into that fire all right next up we have the achievement or trophy called sit down the hardest one in the game probably it takes place on the stage ring and don't worry about my other controller there i was trying to see if i could grind it on my own it's very difficult to do solo and if you do do it with someone i would highly recommend you do it online with a friend but what we need to do if we want to do it solo is we need to grab onto the outside of the ring with both our hands on the highest possible part in the corner right here and set yourself up like this with both of your hands on the top part what you need to do is then let yourself go, steer yourself off to the right, and then press A to jump, letting your character land over the railing in order to unlock the achievement or trophy here. Again, this one's very difficult. You might find an easier time playing online and having yourselves throw each other over the railing instead. The next level specific achievement or trophy takes place on the level towers. And what we need to do here is as soon as we spawn, you'll see the stairs on the closest side of the screen we need to run all the way to the bottom of the third flight of stairs and as soon as we get to the bottom it'll trigger their destruction so hold a in order to sprint back up to the top and halfway here what we need to do is jump onto the tower and hold on at this point try to pull yourself up the tower all the way back up to safety you don't have to pull yourself all the way back to safety but you do have to get really close in order for the game to register that you are safe and then the achievement or trophy will unlock i ended up not making it all the way back up and ended up actually falling to my death but uh with a little bit of practice you can easily get all the way back up to safety as well next up we are on the level trucks and trucks actually has three achievements or trophies we can grab you can do them all in the same run or you can do all of them individually it doesn't really matter the first one is super easy what you need to do is get into the back of one of the two trucks so here I would just kind of recommend dropping off, making sure you catch yourself, and then jumping into the back of one of the trucks. Boom, we're done with that. And now what we can do is we can either jump off the map or we can try to climb back up. I would recommend here climbing back up. And once we climb back up, what we need to do is we need to go on to the front part of the truck, like where the driver is. And once we're there, we want to lie down on top of the truck. You also want to make sure that you watch out for the signs above as hitting them will clearly clearly knock you off the truck and cause you to fail the level so again as you can see now that i climb my way back up i'm going to go to where the truck is i'm going to hold b in order to lie down this will also allow you to get underneath the signs if you need to and uh, you can keep on trucking here now the last achievement or trophy for this level in my opinion is the hardest and it is for jumping through three of the signs. So as you're driving down the road, you'll notice that there's a bunch of like signs and oftentimes one of the signs will be missing. What we need to do is jump through three missing signs. Now the missing sign can be on the right or it can be on the left. And obviously you'll have to transfer between trucks depending on which sign you need to jump through. And if there are is that if there is an instance where both of the signs are available, I would recommend that you just go on the front of the truck and I would recommend that you just lie down and let yourself get under. Now, it's OK if you get hit by the sign, as you saw, I did right there. As long as you don't fail the level, you do have to get three of these signs in a row. So, again, you can get hit as long as you don't fail the level. And I was able to do four on this run, although it took me a fair bit of time to kind of save myself. 
once you are able to cleanly jump through three signs in one run, the achievement or trophy will unlock. Now for the next achievement, we're actually gonna switch modes. So switch to the waves mode. You can choose any stage you want. I'm just gonna choose grind as it's the first stage. And what we need to do is survive the first stage. So what we need to do is basically defeat two of the AI enemies. They can actually be quite difficult and give you a little bit of trouble, especially on this level. Some of the AI just doesn't seem to wanna be thrown off the map. Uh, so you can try to throw the AI into the grinder or throw them off the map. And eventually, if you are able to kill both of them, I would highly recommend also just punching them and kicking them to knock them unconscious. And then you can pick them up with LB and RB and then hold triangle to lift them up. And then you can kind of just throw them off the map when they're not, uh, you know, reacting. Uh, but you need to basically take care of both of the AI. And it doesn't matter how long it takes you as long as you're successful. And then once you're successful and complete wave one, the achievement or trophy will unlock and then you can just back out of this mode. Now for the last three achievements, I'm gonna recommend that you plug in your second controller, press A in order to get both of the characters on the screen, and then select the game type football and then select either four minutes or six minutes. And what we'll need to do is now win a game of football or soccer, making sure that the second controller doesn't score. So just take your first gang beast and just score a goal so that the uh, score is one nothing. And then what we need to do is perform a drop kick and a drop headbutt in order to make them unconscious. This can be done against AI, but I think it's fair, uh, a, a fair bit easier against another controller. So we'll start off with the drop kick. What you need to do is you need to hold A to get a running start and then run at another gang beast. Jump using A in order to get a lot of height and then hold X in order to perform a drop kick. You need to drop kick them in the head in order to cause them to fall unconscious. This will allow you to unlock the achievement or trophy. It does take a little bit of practice, but you should be able to line it up and perform that drop kick. Next up, we wanna perform a drop headbutt or AKA give your opponent some big head. And to do that, again, get a running start, jump at them and then hold B to perform a headbutt. You need to connect your head with theirs at a very high speed in order to knock them out. This will give you the big head achievement slash trophy. If you don't have a secondary controller, you can do both of these in the wave mode against AI, although again, it is a little bit harder. Now, the only thing you need to do is allow for the timer of the soccer match to end. Make sure that it ends with you having a shutout. And at that point, you should now have all 19 out of 19 and you should have your 1000 gamer score on Xbox. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful. Drop a like, share the video with a friend. I'd really appreciate it. Also, a super special thank you to everyone on Patreon for making videos like this possible. And shout out to Double O. Hopefully, I see you guys soon. Peace.